In this video, I'm going to show you the process I took to make the magic mirror that you just saw. First, I'm going to break down the parts I used and how much they were just to give you an idea of how much this project might cost you. So, for the screen, I used an old monitor that was just laying around and a two-way acrylic sheet which was around $140. I had to buy a Raspberry Pi which cost me around $75 Australian dollars. Wood pieces and miscellaneous parts were roughly $100 which gives a total of around $315. You'll see the equivalent costs on the screen. So obviously this project can get pretty pricey and it's worth considering before you decide to make one yourself. I bought my Raspberry Pi as part of a bundle from AliExpress which I will link below. This was the cheapest that I could find the Pi with accessories, but keep in mind that shipping takes around a month, so if you can't wait that long, you should look somewhere else. It came with a heatsink, a fan, an SD card, although I'd recommend you use a more reliable one, and most importantly, a case. I would say the fan and the case are the most essential components to hold the pie in place behind the mirror and also to keep it cool. Okay, so I'm going to break down the process in the order that I followed. The first thing I did was take the monitor apart. It may be hard to find specific guides for your exact monitor, but they're generally pretty similar. If you're having trouble, we can search for a breakdown guide for a monitor of the same brand. The main goal is just to take the core components out from the casing and arrange everything in the slimmest profile possible. You'll most likely need to unplug cables and reconnect them at the end. Make sure you keep the power button and the monitor control buttons, so you'll still be able to control the screen settings. Once I removed all the components, I taped them to the back of the monitor and reconnected all the cables. The next step was setting up the software. I followed a really good guide on how to, which I'll link below. It was helpful, but it's a bit outdated, specifically for the section about installing an interface. This didn't work for me, so I had to go to the official Magic Mirror website and copy that code instead. If you're a newbie like me, setting up the configuration of the mirror will take a while to get used to. But basically how it works is that you connect to your Raspberry Pi through your network and edit all the settings and configurations from your main computer without having to plug a monitor and keyboard into the Pi itself. Different modules can be installed as well and you can toggle everything to your own liking. I would recommend installing a module called Remote Control, which allows you to easily control the appearance and settings all from your phone. After I had set up all the software, I hooked up my Pi to my monitor and made sure everything was in the right place on the screen. After this is when my two-way acrylic sheet arrived. Acrylic does an okay job as a mirror, but if your measurements aren't perfect, you'll end up with lots of warping, as you can see, which is not ideal for a mirror. I would highly recommend spending the money on real two-way glass. It's expensive, but it will look a lot better in the final product. At this stage, I started to make the mirror frame according to the measurements of my acrylic sheet. I made the frame a little bit smaller so the sheet could rest behind it and stay in place. I also used these L brackets on the inside of the frame to give it extra stability. There's a secondary frame attached to the back that's roughly the height of my Raspberry Pi case, which will house all the components. After that, I gave the frame two passes of undercoating and spray painted it with a charcoal black. Assembling the mirror was my favourite part. I first placed all the components in position and shuffled them around a bit to figure out the best layout. And I gave the mirror a clean and locked down the monitor in place with two L brackets. A piece of foam board was cut and placed at the bottom to reinforce the position of the monitor. You also want to make sure to cover up any exposed part of the mirror pane with black paper or foam so that no light can leak through. This will make sure your mirror's reflection is clear as possible. Finally, 
I have another piece of foam board on the back of the frame to cover everything up and a hook drilled into it so it can be hung up. Both power cables from the mirror are plugged into the double adapter, which is then plugged into a smart power plug. I've set up the power plug to turn on only on days when I have classes, and it also turns off at 11pm on all these days as well. If you do set up a schedule like this, it will be good to also schedule a shutdown on the Pi at an earlier time before the smart plug turns off. This would avoid corrupting the system files with an abrupt power off. There's a guide online to scheduling shutdowns on the Pi, and I personally have a script that shuts down the Pi every day at 10.30pm. The modules I use on my mirror are the calendar, weather and Spotify modules. At the bottom is a feed of current news headlines. I'll link all the modules that I use down below. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or even a sub. Any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them.